Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. Welcome back to another episode of Coffee Time. I'm excited to be here. Wednesdays are always a good time to try some new coffees, as well as it's the halfway point of my work week. Hopefully, you're enjoying your week uh, as well. And if you enjoy our episodes, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. It does mean a lot to us. I know that we uh, didn't do coffee last week, but uh, hopefully you were okay with that. Today we have a very special coffee that should be available to most anybody, as far as I know. And that is from Ikea. Ikea. It's a, Ikea is a big... Um, I don't know, warehouse furniture store, but they do uh, food as well. It's a Swedish company. Uh, they're famous for all of their furniture comes in like almost like Legos where you have to piece them together and put them together. And they're really um, designed for small homes, mostly European homes, but very popular here in America as well. And this is called Stay in the Moment with a Petar, a cup a second cup of coffee and we're looking at the espresso so I don't know if you can see this there'll be a picture on the screen as well uh, we picked up three different kinds of coffee from them and this is for a espresso uh, mocha pot <clears throat> excuse me it's ground organic a hundred percent Arabica uh, manufactured or roasted produced whatever not not grown, but produced in Sweden. Uh, and like I say, it's an espresso grind, very dark. Um, they do have some levels on here. It says it's a uh, level three acidity, level five body, and level five roasting. So it's gonna be a very dark roast. So this little, <coughs> excuse me, mornings are always rough for people. Just getting that congestion out. Uh, this 8.8 uh, .8 ounce package costs, uh, I believe it was uh, right around $9. Um, hopefully I can put the correct price down there below. Um, but for the moment, it has escaped my uh, memory. <clears throat> like I say, they have three different kinds of coffee. We bought all three. Oh, they have more. Uh, they do uh, decaf and we rarely buy decaf, so. Let's go ahead and give this a try. It's been in the mocha pot for just a bit. All right, let's look at that. That's a nice, nice, dark, chocolatey, um, brownish, dark brown, almost black, but very brown, uh, chocolatey look. It's kind of like um, the dark chocolate, not the dark chocolate, but the... Uh, uh, brown M&M's color. Mm, it smells acidic. It's very strong, very powerful, earthy. Can really smell that uh, that chocolatey bean aroma. The the kind of the earthiness that goes with it. But you can smell that it's going to be a bit acidic. Now that, that's the Aroma. Let's see about the flavor. It's very hot. It's got a very little taste in there because it's so hot. It's nice and uh, uh, kind of refreshing. It's not very acidic on the tongue. Uh, <clears throat> you're not getting that acid, um, high caffeine. Uh, feel in the mouth. It's actually really quite smooth. You're getting that kind of fungal earthiness to it that comes traditionally with coffee. A little bit of uh, uh, dark chocolatey, uh, not sweet chocolate, dry chocolate, uh, you know, that like a baking chocolate flavor to it, but very earthy. I normally drink my espresso, which I have at least one cup a day uh, in the afternoon. Sometimes I'll do two, but it's kind of my transition, my last bit of caffeine to uh, finish the day off before I transition into 
non-caffeinated stuff like water or whiskey. But I normally drink it straight like this. This I might want to add just a bit of sweetener to it. Um, we like to add either um, some raw sugar or uh, sometimes some Eagle brand milk, the sweetened Eagle brand milk. Yeah, it's, it's really good. I was surprised. Not very acid. I, I didn't know what I was expecting, so surprise is probably not the word. But not very acidic. It's nice and smooth and stuff. Um, it's a wee bit. <laughs> sorry. It's a little bit more expensive than I would um, traditionally want to pay at $10. Um, normally, we can get our espressos right around 5 bucks Because you're talking about an 8 ounce, half pound where normally you can get a pound of coffee for about the $10 range. So, um, But it is really cool to get something in such a unique store like Ikea. If you want to try the whole traditional um, experience, you pick up some Swedish meatballs or some other uh, stuff there. The last time I looked, I was looking for the Swedish fish, those little kind of gummy fish. Couldn't find any. But we go there just to walk and talk and get ideas for our house or our bar or whatever. I was actually looking for some bar stuff and uh, came away with a few things, but we don't um, normally shop there for like furniture, except for the odds and end things. But it is a very nice experience. Now, if you have a smaller home, that's probably be perfect for you because everything is designed on a European style, tiny uh, living space. Or if you wanted to get into the tiny homes, that would be the perfect place. Um, so check it out and pick up some coffee. I think you can uh, actually just go to the cafeteria and have a cup of coffee, but it's nice to take some home. Uh, but tell us what you think for the IKEA um, coffee. And Patar, P-A-T-A-R, I believe, I, I'm not even going to um, assume I'm correct, but I'm thinking that Patar might be coffee in Swedish. You can definitely let me know down below, um, but tell us what you think. Make sure you check out all of our videos Monday through Friday. Monday is oddity day. Tuesday, Thursdays are whiskey. By the way, when I say oddity, that's non-whiskey alcohols. Uh, Tuesday, Thursdays are whiskey or whiskey flavored. Of course, Wednesday is coffee, and then Friday is uh, cocktails. I hope you have a great Wednesday and a great rest of your week, and we'll see you tomorrow for a fabulous whiskey. Cheers.